How's it going everyone? My name is David. This is a video with a series of stretches to help you improve your squat and be able to get your hips below your knees like your coach wants you to. First up, we have a walking ankle stretch. Check it out. You just take a step, the back ankle, you drive the heel down, you push the heel into the floor. At the same time, you push the hips forward. You should feel this stretch lower calf and the Achilles tendon. Next up, we have the figure four march. This is to target the glutes. Here, for demonstrating, it's a walk. At the same time, you cross the leg. More specifically, you put the ankle right above the knee. You sit back. As you sit back, that will allow the stretch to occur. Just spending about five seconds on each pose. Taking a step and doing the other side. This is done for two minutes total. So next up, we're gonna show you the side to side squat. In the side to side squat, you're taking the feet wide and you're squatting to one side and then you slide your hips along the floor. You wanna keep the bent knee stacked over the feet so the foot is flat to the ground. This is a great stretch for getting the adductors, groin area, to help you get your squat as low as it can go. All right, that's up for the movements. Now onto the static stretch. First one is the static ankle stretch. Key here is to make sure the knee is reaching over the toes. You hold it for one minute on one side and then you switch. Again, here you see me pressing that knee forward. That's to get the ankle. Here I'm demonstrating a long trailing leg. Next up I'll demonstrate keeping that trailing leg closer so you don't let the hip flexor limit the stretch in the ankle. You can see I'm applying pressure to the right knee to increase the stretch in the ankle. There's the left side. So you make sure you do one minute per side times four. Next up, the static pigeon stretch. This is me demonstrating on the right leg I'm gonna show you a few different angles. Key with this stretch is to make sure that the leg that is bent is bent at a 90 degree angle. It should feel challenging to get that leg down to the ground. There's just a different angle. I'm getting myself situated, making sure that my hips are dropping and my chest is lifting. I'm gonna show you one more angle here. Again, keeping that front leg bent at a 90 degree angle. Again, it should be challenging to get that, that leg and knee to touch the ground. This is as much as I can give it, but I'm just dropping the hips and lifting the chest. Switching to the other side. Scooting over, squaring my chest to that bent knee, keeping my hips square. That's it. Thanks for watching. Happy squatting.